G'day, how you going? Ian Apples here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video. Today's a live painting, and if you're watching the replay, give a share, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and leave a comment below or a question if you want to ask me anything, okay? Now, the size of the canvas is 12 inch by 16 and a half inch, and the size and the colors I'm using will be in the description below the video if you're watching the replay. All right, let's get into it. So um, I've got a display pick there. Well, it's not a display pick, but it's a reference picture. Now I need me pencil, and once I've sorted all this out, I'll bring you over here, and we'll all get into it together. So I'm just going to get me horizon pretty much down there-ish, just so I was like, got an idea somewhere there. I don't even know why I put it. I suppose I put it there for the reason of you people seeing how high. I'm thinking to go with it. You don't want your horizon too high. I'll tell you why you don't want your horizon too high. Horizon line here is there. When you're looking out in the distance on a horizon, you're looking far away and everything is flat. The closer you come to that horizon line, whatever you're looking at, let's just say it's a mountain out there or an island, the closer you get to it, if you're standing just like a couple of meters away from there, the water looks like it's coming at you like that. So the closer you're to something, you start, you're able to see the top because obviously you look down at your feet and there you're looking down at it. Okay. Now if you've done horizon line where you're far back but you've got it way up here, it's like you're in a bloody helicopter looking at it. And we don't all have helicopters. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Let's get on to it. Now I've got my craft paint. I want to just get some of the sky retarded up with craft paint so I can blend some colours for the afternoon sunset. So up there we'll get this. Can now I'm using good quality canvas cloth, it's not canvas paper, it's not stretched canvas pulled off a canvas frame and I buy it on the roll. It's good artist quality actually and it makes for good blending. The better quality surface you got, you'll get better results. Now I'm only going to go to that horizon line there because all that city bit, when I do that, I don't need to blend that, but I want to blend the sky. Now I just left and right with my brush strokes and get that nice and smooth and reasonably thin, not too thin. And we're going to get some sky colours on there. All right. Before we do, I need to wash the brush. I'm assuming... I couldn't, I'm going to make up my own colours because it's got like a bit of grey in the middle, then that blue wrapping around, but I'm assuming we can get some of this going. This and a bit of red gold. If you don't have red gold, try and find it. If you can't find it, look for an Australian sienna, just similar. It's a similar colour. And if you can't find that, start looking for a deep purple. Down here, I've got my Indian yellow. I'm going to start with that first just down on the horizon. Now, if you're going to do this painting, don't put this at the very bottom because it's going to have that blue there. So, we'll get a bit of the yellow because that's what we're doing first. I'm going to have it about, make it up as you go, boom, like that, something like that. So within there, that is where I want the yellow. Get it nice and deep, scallopy. This put her on a brush. Gee whiz, I used a lot of paint for very little effect. This put her on a brush. You, you put it on and then you start going to the tips and the tips do, look at that, it's doing all the, the blending for me. Get a bit up there like that. And that's it. I don't have to go and pick up another brush and start blending. That's why I love the put her on a brush. You want this brush? And you want a couple of blenders that I use if you like to blend the way I blend skies, message me on Facebook if you're watching the replay. The links are in the description below. Tell me you want to buy some brushes and I'll send you the PayPal link so you can buy them. Now I'm going to pick up the deep orange, red gold, Australian Sienna. It's either one of those colours. And I want to get some of this right at the top there. I'm using the tip because I can force it in there. Right into that yellow, right across there. Not too much yellow there, it's mainly gobbled up with this. And that's going to be there. That's it. Now there's still a lot of paint on my brush. Okay. 
and here, that orange, there's still a lot of paint right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe that like a gentleman. And then I'm going to, I'll put it on there, I'm going to come from this side. You can see that? I'm going to come from this side and I'm going to blend it with the tips of this. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Right up to nothing. There you go. I've stopped. Don't have to do any more. That's already full of charisma and bullshit, the way you want your sky to look. It's very easy. And with a bit of practice, if you've just started out, you can do that. Now I'm going to go and grab some grey. Because this sky, the sun's already gone down. So this is why we're seeing this. And the rest is starting to become blackulatingly black and dark sky. So doing... To get that effect, I'm going to grab some grey, and I do have some, I'm going to use it up. I've got some, it's called primary blue, it's just primary blue. It's not cerulean, cobalt, or whatever, whatever, it's just primary blue. Now I want to grab that and start getting a blue-grey colour for the midnight, almost turning midnight sky. And I should have washed that brush, because see how it's starting to get a bit of green in there? But we'll get by with our sky. If it gets green, we'll bear with it. It's not a photo we're painting, is it, eh? <laughs> All right, that's me grey. I can probably add more grey if I want. Imagine forgetting to move the camera and everyone's saying, Ian, you didn't move the camera. And I'm like, well, buggy is, I don't want you to see what I'm doing because it's not really me painting it, is it? <laughs> Let's start at the top. This is kind of grey coming down. And where this grey meets that, or where this blue-grey meets that orange, I'm going to stroke that like a gentleman, I'll get it to there before it goes green. Now I can't go any more. Now I'm just going to grab pure grey. Now see what I always do? I always do it. See here, in case I need to come back, I'll wet that. Because if you wet it, if you let it get a skin and you wet it, see that's got no skin on it, but I have done it before and you get bits of glumpity glumps in it. You don't want that. So we'll get some of this grey, just get some grey there. And I want to transition in between the orange. I'll just go like this, bugger it. Oh yeah, there we go. Done. Now before I get that orange up into the I'll get that up there, beautiful, and that can come down into that orange. Well, I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully those flavours are going to make up the kind of sky we're going for. Do you want to put a moon crest in there? It's up to you, but our sun's going down. See, there's the earth. The sun's up here. This, just pretend that's round, okay? The shape of the earth. Sorry, you flat earth people. Uh, but your sun's up here. Everything is bright. Uh, the sun's white. But as it's coming down this side here, it starts getting more yellow and orange because all the blue is taken out through the atmosphere and the ozone layer, which is creating the blue sky. And you're only getting orange and blues, orange and yellows coming through. And as it comes down, it even gets more deeper, darker purples. Um, I might put, just for the art's sake, because I do have time today, uh, I looked at the time, the battery, I will put maybe a high, just one little one, just for the, for the art's sake. I'll grab a brush, grab a bit of paint. And in this grey, I want to get some kind of lengthy out here just maybe one or two I'm not sure bit there and why don't we just get that coming across there oh yeah oh I knocked too much of it off then now do understand clouds can be one of the hardest things to paint so if you want to master clouds a lot of my videos show you how to paint some great clouds and it takes a lot of determination and practice now watch what I do, you're conducting, I, I forget who said it, but someone in my group said it, and that's very true. You, look at this, I'm on it a bit, creating turmoil, lustre, loveliness, and I'm wiping it. Get that bottom bit, I want the bottom bit to stay flat. And then you go again. 
Like, I'm not criticizing anybody for the way they do their clouds on YouTube, but other people do blend different to me. They could be blending like this or painting it on dry on dry. My method is done this way and you get such, I mean, look how easy that was for me. You can do that as well. And it looks like a real cloud. You can go till the cows come home with that. I can even put yumminess in it, but I'm not gonna worry about it. The champion in this painting is gonna be the bloody porthole that I put there. But that's how easy clouds are with a bit of practice, okay? Let me, I've got so many brushes here. Um, I need to wash this one again, sorry. Now I just need to dry this here. Now my horizon line's about here. I've got that blue and I've also got some phalo blue. So I'm gonna sort of see which one will do it first. And like, I'm gonna go for a filbert. I feel I can probably get nice bubbly round bits like that in my sky. Now to make it easy, if you're a beginner and you want things to be easy, what you can do, so as you're not painting blind, I do it in quite a few videos. No, I do not paint every day, uh, Isabel. I might paint a couple of times in one day and then every four days or when I've got time, I'll post them. Now, you can sort of go like this. Where's that sort of go? I'd sort of... Come up there. You can't see that, but I can. Now, if you want, you can do that at home. I'm going to get the, oh, where are we? Where do I put those lines now? I've got to see if this is going to be dark enough. I'm just worried about that top edge first. Now, this is going to be quite easy to do. Okay, uh, boom. Oh, we got, I put it there, didn't I? Now that's breaking up. We don't want it to break up. We want it nice and sharp to a degree so I can pounce it on like that. Boom. 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 Nice and pillowy. Get this one up there. Now I've got to look at that and kind of hopefully see if I need a bit of... Um, I'm just going to spill a bit of... Um, Phalo blue into it and see what that's doing now down here. Yeah, that's quite blue. I just picked this picture because I thought it's something different and it's something a beginner can do if they were taught how I feel you can paint it. You know, there's so many artists out there with so many ways of painting and there are so many ways you can paint the same picture. Uh, so I can only show you the way I would paint it. Other people will show you their way. And that's up to you as a follower or a, someone that wants to be um, inspired to work out which way you want to do it. A bit of their way, a bit of his way, a bit of her way, and a bit of your way, or completely their way. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm dabbing these on. Boom. Wow. Now, I don't want to get a nice little low bit like I'm getting. I want to change this up a bit. I just got that camera in the way and I can't move. How's it looking on there? Looking all right. Looking all right. Now, we'll come up from about here. Boom, coming out. Yeah, I don't, I was going to do them nice and tight, but clouds aren't that tight. They don't have a solid edge on them. I have done a lot of looking at clouds and those little gap fillers you see me put in there, like something like this is a cumulus cloud, but this is a low one. Those little whispery gap fillers that I put in there, they're like cirrus clouds. They usually float up very high. I'll adjust the shape of this as I go, but you get an idea what I'm doing. And I'm deliberately covering up that orange yellowy color there so I can start getting the rest of it blocked in. Now, I don't like this. It looks a bit iffity effity I'm going to get some more of that phalo blue. So we'll try and make... C 
something a bit bigger there. Big bubbly bit there, big bubbly bit there. A nice bubbly bit there. Well, like Mickey Mousey as you're doing, you, you know? There we go. How's that looking? Now that's wet. It's still a little bit wet. If you want, I hope it will work. I'm going to try it. Just to give a little bit of um, dimension in it. I'll get down here a little bit more first. Um, I want to grab a lighter value of this. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring you down to the palette in, in a minute. Look, right, right now. And I want to get some of that phalo blue and just a little bit of white. Just a little bit. See? See what I've done there? Just a little bit. Little bit. A little bit more. Okay, that'll do. Now I want to work out what's behind, what's in front. Just get a bit artistic and see what we can do. Okay, Marion Bridges, thank you very much for your super chat. Mwah. Cyber hugs and kisses to you, sweetheart. Now, what have we got here? I'll try here, let's see if we can get a bit of bit of detail, darkness. No, it's not dark, it's not light enough. So I'm gonna put some more light in it. How's that looking in the camera there? Yeah, so. This has got to be dark, these clouds, but I'm just trying to get a bit of um, enthusiasm within them. So I'm keeping those Mickey Mouse ears the way I've got them. I've got some of this sitting in there and I'm just going to dab, dab, dab them, dab them and dab them around like that until I can get some kind of... And then I'll come back with the dark and just darken it up where I want it to be. How's that looking in the camera there? That's a bit better. Now I'm just going to wipe that. Just wipe that brush. I've gone back to the darker one and I want to sit all that down here into that dark now. It's very wet. I could have, should have dried it to make it rubbery, but I'm in a bit of a... I always like, not like, but I always push myself under the pump when I paint live because I want to try and get what I'm doing done within an hour. So when I do live paintings, I just pick something very easy for myself to paint. I'm not going to do a highly advanced or detailed painting when I go live. I just don't have the means to operate my gear for that long. There we go. We've got some kind of, oh yeah, I like that sort of atmosphere going on within them. Yes, you can see it. Now what we'll do is we'll just paint the living buggery out of that down to at least our horizon line. And then, oh, I hope I have enough phalo blue. Um, we're going to get the bottom half done. That's pretty much the top done. Get some more in there. I've got to buy another. I've got to go to the art store and get more of that paint. Use it all up. Okay, I'm just going to dab that now like this. Just I've got all brush strokes there. It looks beautiful. If you want to buy this painting or any other ones of my paintings, message me on Facebook and people who have received them, they are very impressed with the quality they look like in real life. They're done with good quality paints on a good quality canvas. There we go. How's that looking? It's something different, isn't it? There we go. Now, this bit here, I want to get there. Where are you? Get on there. There you go. And I need to get a little bit of um, dioxine purple. I've got some of that over here. So. We're getting this now. And we're getting a darker value of that phalo blue for downstairs where the actual land is the horizon the city the i'll put all that in there bugger it and we want to get this darker to that point 
considerably darker, so you'll notice the difference, and it's distinguishing the horizon line way out there. Now this, this actual photo, to me it looks like it was taken off a peak or lover's lane or somewhere high like that down, or like in California where you're up on the hill and you can look down. But see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is darker than that because down here, it's already dark time. People have got their lights on, They've ordered their dinner, their made dinner, they're meeting each other for dinner at night time, the lights are on and everyone's enjoying life as we know it on this crazy wonderful planet we live on here. Now I'm going to come across there. Now that horizon line, I don't want it hard as buggery like it is, so I'm going to try and... Well that's not working, so what I'm going to do is grab my one and only faithful putter on a brush. Where are we? I'll leave that there. Did I wash it? Yes, I did. So I'm just dirtying it in some of that paint. I'll get it here and I'm going to come up and I want to slowly balk that horizon line there. Get it not so hard. We want a little flat just to create some detailed little nonsense out there. So I'm just going to grab some black paint. Okay, where can we put that? We'll put that about there. Bit of black paint. All these tubes out. Look at all my tubes there, but that's where I need them because I, I leave the lids off when I use them. So as I'm painting, if I need more, I just go bleep, and it's there. Now we'll get a little bit of hydrated water onto that. And we just want black, simple black. And we're just going to put some simple but effective buildings down there. And before I do that, I just need a mouthful of my coffee. Okay, I'm just looking at the picture for a bit of reference, but I'm not going to sit there backwards and forwards trying to copy exact everything. So I'll just get a rough idea. So we just got some... Oh, see, I've got to get new flats. Look at them, they're, they're all snotted and bug, buggerized. That should have done a nice thing there, but it didn't. Just pretty much... Don't want nothing too big out there, nothing too big. Uh, where are we? Little bits and pieces out there. What I'm going to do is mix some of this, just, that's a bit too dark, so I'm mixing that with the leftover dioxine and phalo blue. Because that's a bit too dark, and we'll just get some, got any down the bottom? Yeah, we have a few bigger ones down here like this, boom, now is that camera picking all that up, yeah it is, it is, it is, try and make them square, uh, where are we, we got bits all the way out here, uh, 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 uh. like that, is my camera going all the way across? Yes, it is. Um, now we'll use my bullshit stick. I want to get a cluster, a bit of a suburb going on out over here. So we'll start about there and we'll get like, boom, boom, boom. Come down a bit. Have a bloody level in your dag. There we go, take the bullshit stick away. And then, with that, I'll try and get some, it's in the distance. Get them nice and tight if you can. I'm going to try and balk that horizon line with some stuff out there like that. I hope this is making sense to you people. Yeah, it's just going to look, <laughs> well I bloody hope it's going to look alright, you know. Some of them can fade away. It's just sort of blurry and it isn't and it is and it isn't. I don't know. And it's nothing like the reference here, but I'm sort of getting ideas from the reference. So that's how I use a reference when and if I do use one. 
Now what I'm going to do, like I always do with city lights, is um, I go and put them all on with the white. So when you do the yellow and white, I mean the red ones, they stand out. If you go and put yellow and red on dark colours, they will look transparent. Okay, I'm going to dry that. I'm going to use good quality white. I'll spread it out with the tube like that for now. We'll grab my spray bottle so it'll, we can inculate it enough. So in the water, yeah, look at that. I fairly got some of this color in there, you dag. Now, if you're new to using a brush like this, wiggle it in like that, twist it, and the tip. is loaded depending on how heavy you press you can get some dots so that's the reason why I wear gloves because you can do demonstrations right back to the um, canvas here we'll get a few lines there is a I want to do where's that black bit there I want to do this sticks gonna help me get a long line out there somewhere some of them are close like that and we've got some up there. That'll do for now for that because there was just a clutter out there. And we've got, I need the other stick now. Do you remember I did that dusk one and it just had a lot of lights on in the background? Oh, that's too, too much there. Uh, where else are we? There's just lots of um, orange ones out there. So these are all going to be coloured, but why I'm doing them this way is so I can colour them with the... Um, orange and yellowy sort of colours. Now if you're a patron of mine, you would have seen the cityscape I just painted. I painted another cityscape. Beautiful looking, sort of abstracty, but quite nice looking, I feel. And it's got a wicked lightning sky above it. So if you're a um, patron of mine, you would have saw that posted up there. Patrons of mine get to see what's coming up. Patrons, if you were in my Patreon page early this afternoon, you would have seen the reference picture posted and you would have known I was coming live because I posted it in the group there, in the patrons group there. So you would have known exactly I was coming live and um, what picture was coming out of it, things like that. So where are we? Get some brighter ones down. Where's the uh, big brighter one now like that maybe? Lots of little tiny ones here, little ones there. I'm trying to do them either in straight lines or even. Does that look like a town down there? It sort of is, isn't it? I don't want to start making it look like buildings. It's just like a cluttered town. So the more you go up and down, it'll start looking like buildings. So I'm trying to keep them in a roundabout way. Pretty easy, isn't it? You can do this, eh? I know you can. I've seen people do renditions of just my tutorials, for example, and they're doing some excellent renditions. Some of them look better than mine if you want to start comparing stuff. I don't normally compare art, but I do know a lot of people do. There we go. We got that going. I'll stop for there for now. We can keep going on that until the cows come home. Now we're just going to use some simple yellow. Uh, what have they got, mate? Oh, they've got blue, so I've got some of the... Um, blue down here. I'll give that a quick dry. Now I'll start with the blues. Where are we? We've got some, it's pretty much a baby blue. So I'll get more white into it because it's got atmosphere between the person. So let's see, we're pretty much out here. We've got a lot of, I don't know if it's going to pick that up just yet, but I'm gonna, once I finish with this blue colour, I'm going to, um, Move the camera in a different roundabout way. 
just here and there, different light colours. Take your time, you can do a neater job. I'm kind of scooting along here and missing some of the edges, but that's what it's all about. Getting what you want done. The closer they come to you, by referencing the reference picture, they are yellow. So I'll give that brush a wipe. I'll pick up the Indian yellow and a little bit of white in that. No, that's gone hard. I better grab some more. Indian yellow, I'm just grabbing some Indian yellow and some white. Oh, why I put white with it, it turns the lights on, it makes it more opaque. I think opaque's a word, opaque makes it thicker and lustier. All right, and we'll put a few, uh, where are we? Yellow lights out here. And you can see having that white underneath, they stick out. I'll put one next to it. I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but they look a bit more see-throughy. Now we're getting some lights on. They really could be blurry, but And obviously we will leave some of them white as well. I'm not going to colour all the white ones in. Oh God, they were tiny light. Now look how big they are, you dag. Uh, I'll get a bit of red in there as well, why not? How's that looking? Little lights. I don't want the red, I'll just use this... Um, Stray and sienna, so it'll be like an orangey red. Tone down a bit, get a bit of water in it. I'm just scrabbling it into my brush here. Some of that Australian sienna, or red gold, I mean. And we'll put some of these in there as well. Probably, where's downtown? Downtown, downtown, don't, don't go here. This is the red light district down there. Stay away from there. And then we got the ambulance station. They'll have a red light on their roof, maybe here somewhere. They've got a big one. And some of them out the back, there's some more water. Some of them out the back can have a um, aeroplane aerial light on them. Those red lights, I think. Give me a look at that. That's all right, eh? Pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty easy one today. Now what I will do is I'll grab some of that baby blue, okay? Now be sure to check out all the links in the description below, share, like and subscribe and I want to thank all my patrons who support my content every month and even those people that buy my art, it gives me a boost and it's, it keeps me doing what I'm doing. I want to thank you very much and all you, everything you do for me is much appreciated. I'll put Steve's little paw print on there. Now this one, who knows what this sort looks like with a... Um, with a frame on it. Let's just see. We'll whack a frame on that one and see how she looks. Frames always look good, don't they, on a painting? There you go. I don't know what we're going to call it, but it's not too shabby, eh? We've got a distant hillside cast over sunset scene or something like that. All right, let's put a bit of lightning here. All right, so we could probably, I don't know, should I do it? <laughs> I'll do it where I can lean here. Come down to there. Normally with lightning, I feel, where are you, close enough or too far away? Get in there, come on, get right in there. Yes, put lightning, okay, thank you. I was hoping I didn't start it and these all go, oh, no, nah, no lightning here, no, no, no. Now put a bit of a line there, I don't know what sort of line, something in the shape of the clouds. I'm wiping it up there like that, and the top half, 
this is just snotting around here, but the top half, I'm going to scrumble it into the sky like so. This brush is piss weak. I've picked up this one. Just to scrumble it in there. I'm fuck. Shit, I nearly swallowed it. I'm buggering around here. Anyway, that's where the lightning starts from, and then we're just going to crack it. Nice and thin, let it jut, stop corners, let it do that, and then down. Now I've buggered up the um, bottom bit, so I'm going to have to keep going until I can get it to a, a fine hair point, just like that. And we can probably just a little bit. Not too much, don't get carried away with lightning, it's so easy to get carried away. All right, I had fun doing that. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing, tell your friends. But if you don't like what I'm doing, you tell everybody, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.